Hello friends, it's me Chinavin Coder. This is the seventh video in the Java FS 3D application development tutorial series. In the last video, we have seen how to apply a wooden texture or any texture to your Java FS 3D object. And in this video, we'll talk about reflection. As you can see here, when I move this you can see some nice reflection because there is a light source and when it comes parallel or when it comes perpendicular to the light source or the light rays it will reflect some of the light and it will come to our eye so as you can see here it is reflecting light like this so in this video we will talk about the reflection for an object so this is the exact same code as chapter 6 this is where we left off and we talk about we talked about this diffuse map so in this video we will talk about specular map so the specular map is used to or specular color is used to define the reflection in java fx so if you set this specular color to pure white then it will reflect everything so if you set to white every light that is uh, coming to that surface will be reflected that is 100 percentage reflection if you set this to black and it will act as a black body and every light photon uh, coming to that surface will be absorbed so nothing will be reflected back so that those are the two extremes let me show you how it will reflect when you use this white so I just set this specular color as white and as you can see it is at this point it is reflecting everything so white is the total reflection if you set this to black then let's see how black works and as you can see there is no reflection at all because all the photons coming to the surface is being absorbed by the surface so what we are interested in is in a value in between the white and black so if you set a value that is in between white and black then it will be reflected based on how much close it is to white i mean when it get, comes closer to black the reflection will keep on decreasing so I'm going to, going to give a value like 424242. It is not black, not white either. So if I give that value, we will get a medium reflection. So based on that value. So as you can see, it is not too much reflection. It is not zero reflection either. So that's how you define reflection for a surface. And as you can see there is one more option called set specular map and just like a diffuse map you can set a specular map as an image the idea here is let's say let me show you this illuminati not illuminati let me show you this one so if i give a surface like this then as you can see here if the place is black then that place won't reflect anything the places where the white pixels are there it will reflect so if you want to give a complex reflection map you can just prepare an image and give it so here i have prepared one thing bum map this one so if i give this one it will reflect from all these places in this white section and it will not reflect any light from this black black part so let's see how it is looking so here in this specular map I'm going to use that bum map. So remember this bum map is this image. So all this white portion should reflect and this black portion should not reflect. Okay, as you can see here, as you can see here, this part and that black portion alone is not at all reflecting, but the other places are reflecting. That's how you give complex reflection for objects and let me show you how it will look like with this illuminati so i have illuminati one and two so i'm going to use illuminati dot chip okay i'm going to use this reflection 
and as you can see here right now it won't reflect from all the places but when it comes to light all the pixels or the or all the parts that were white is reflecting light now and all the black parts are not reflecting light so that's it guys that's how you use reflection to create complex textures in java fx so in the next video we will see more about self-illumination and bump maps so as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos